driving one of Canoe's electric vehicles with company CEO Tony Aquila, I guess how you say it. Acula? Anyway, uh, we visited the company's mostly empty uh, Arkansas factory to test drive one of its futuristic electric vans with a rectangular steering wheel. So, yeah, Dylan Goforth and uh, Clifton Adcock went to Bentonville, Arkansas to check out Canoe. You know, the article's all right. I mean, I'm, you know, it's good, I guess, that they kind of play both sides. Hey, listen, as far as I'm concerned, I only care about the root of this, Nicholas, which is I have no idea why we are giving away a slush fund of money to a bankrupt company who can't even make good cars and haven't even put out an actual product. I get it. NASA has some of their vehicles, but like nobody is going to be driving your square ass vehicle with your square ass fucking like steering wheel and nobody is going to go about purchasing your overpriced electric vehicle that in a state where we don't even have the ability to charge our freaking cars because the gas industry pretty much owns every single gas station like this is just like so impractical (laughs) like the whole thing is fucked and i get it like it'd be one thing if kevin stitt was like oklahoma We're going to try and be in green state. And as a result, we're going to incentivize putting around like Tesla plugs and shit everywhere so that your cars can be charged and whatnot and transition. No, like we're just going to end up like, honestly, I feel like this is just a cash grab from like some of the liberal communities and just like trying to say you have something. And yeah, no, it failed. Like this is a failed experiment. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, 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 it just feels yeah, just give me trains and buses. Yeah, seriously. Uh, you know, I... Yeah. I, I think when scale-level players get in the game, your GMs, your Toyotas, your Chryslers, your, you know, major car manufacturers, I just, I just really don't see how these startups keep with it. You couldn't just homegrown your own. Like with with that much amount of money with a hot like that you're putting out at that point, why don't you just make it yourself? Yeah, I mean, but sorry, but, but that's Panasonic and Canoe will have a joint venture in prior. Well, is is Panasonic going to build a battery factory? Is that what that's supposed to well, be? I, th- I, I thought the legislators of the state capital were afraid of Panasonic making gay batteries. Yeah, we joked about that the other week. Yeah, I mean they they've created that fun to give panasonic a bunch of money i mean my i don't know my deal is all this stuff is like race to the bottom capitalism like it's you're paying companies to do what they're gonna do anyway you're only getting them here because you're outbidding potentially someone else and in the case of canoe like they may not even have a viable product so it's like you're actually getting nothing um they it says in the article they haven't been paid any money yet because they haven't built anything yet and so it's like you know, we're spending all this energy and time and resources and investigation on a company that might just disappear. Um, ah, Canoe is Company B in House Bill uh, 4455. That's interesting. I mean, that's it's just a lot of dominoes to, to fall. And Pan- the Panasonic deal seems very uh, lucrative. I, I don't know. I... I just don't think this is how we should do economic economic development. I mean, because I, I always go back to look at like a company like Paycom. I mean, as far as I know, they didn't get any direct state subsidies. They are massive. I mean, they are like a, I think I looked up the other day. I mean, their market cap's like $12 billion, 100% homegrown. They employ thousands of Oklahomans. They're growing at an astronomical rate. I mean, you would be better off putting out hundreds of bids a year you know put out a hundred million dollar bids a year and try and get another pay one paycom like you would be better putting out a hundred million hundred one million dollar bids a year to get one paycom than you would investing in either of these projects because all that money i mean panasonic's you know japanese company like it's all flowing profits are all flowing out i just i just think if we're gonna look at economic development there's just a much better way you could do it Frame it right, put some real guardrails on it, but, you know, understand going in that a lot of these companies are going to bust, 
But if even one takes off, You've created so much more local Oklahoma economic development than any of these giant vaporware deals. I mean, we'll see what happens. Panasonic's a legit company, so if they come here and build a massive battery thing. But like the Google Data Center, I mean, there was an article the out, I think we talked about last week, where we've given them hundreds of millions of dollars in tax incentives. They don't need it. They don't need it. They're they have they're sitting on $140 billion in cash. Why are we giving I'm them like, hundreds of millions in tax incentives? Like it just I'm, doesn't. I'm just genuinely surprised that nobody on the coasts have tried to like Clay Bennett us the way that Clay Bennett like stole the thunder from Washington. You know, like I, maybe this is just a well kept secret, but you totally could just, if a Google or an Amazon for that matter really wanted to live their lives the way that they wanted to, they could just like sweep in through here. They don't fucking need tax incentives they could just do it themselves thanks again arch mega for the uh, gifted subs there hope folks are enjoying the gifted subs today yeah i mean so it, it's really tough reading these articles and just try i i mean i understand that like the canoe guy was giving them pretty exclusive access and so it's kind of a cool experience i just wish they'd be a little more critical and i think they should talk to some like critical economists like there's a company, and I know Frontier knows who they are, called Good Jobs First. They're a DC think tank um, that's really critical of these sorts of economic development schemes. And, you know, we just need to get that out to the public because there are cool things we could do with our collective resources. Like, I'm not saying the government shouldn't do some economic development. Like, it may make sense to try and bet on some things or give, you know, create a pool of money that isn't tied to banks and other profit seekers. That's just like, hey, we see a need for this in the community. You know, come with your ideas and, you know, maybe get some funding. And I know there are some venture seed things. I just hate when we put all of our eggs in these one baskets. And especially with like the Googles and even Panasonic. I mean, they're probably, they're probably ca- like billions in cash just sitting around. You know, like they're a massive multinational company. They don't, they don't. What, you know what? Seven hundred million dollars from Oklahoma. Just why don't they just build their own state? Who the corporations? Yeah, like they're trying, man. I mean, America. I mean, they, <laughs> yeah, that's you know what? That's a good point, Nick. They are trying to do that with us. Just like um, build an island in the middle of nowhere. Do what the do what they're doing in Dubai, and just like build your own country. <laughs> Thanks for watching our video. Please give it a like and hit that subscribe button for more content. If you want to engage with us, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram.